Hey what's up Musers, this is John at muse for You, and in today's video tutorial I'll be showcasing the animated buttons widget uh, that I've uh, just released on muse for shopcom So if I go to uh, muse for You shopcom and I'll close this here and I'll go to shop now and then I'll scroll down, it's right here, it says click here, animated buttons, so I'll click here or I'll click on uh, the widget here and then uh, here we can see we can choose from over 50 animated button variations and uh, I'll let you read this but there's just a bunch of features that you can do uh, with the widget I'll just go to the example site to, to kind of show you so I'll click on preview exam example site and I'm using a few widgets here but here we have the animated buttons and with the animated buttons you can link it to an external page an internal page or you can link it to an anchor link on on that particular page in Adobe Muse. So here, when I hover over this button, we can see that it animates, and this is one of the buttons from the animated buttons widget. And if I click on it, we scroll down, and we have this animation here. And then I have some buttons, some buttons here. Here's another button, and when you click on it, it just brings you down the page. And then here is another animation as well. So these these buttons can add a lot of styling to your website and make your website look really awesome and just like really cool. And uh, so yeah, and then I've used, here are the other widgets that I've used. Um, I've used the, the animated buttons widget, the SVG draw widget, and the animator widget in this uh, tutorial or in this de uh, demo. So yeah, let me just refresh and here, here we see I use the SVG uh, draw widget and then it fades in with the animator widget and then I'm using um, these buttons here, these animated buttons. Alright, very good. And if you wanted to see all of the buttons, you can simply go to um, museforyoushop.com and I'll click on shop now. And if you go to the, um, maybe I'll put it on the first page here, but if you go to the second page of my products here, you click on products and you go to the second page and you click on uh, the PayPal buy now buttons and you click on preview example site. Um, you can see all the different buttons. This one was made for PayPal or not made for PayPal, but the buttons link to PayPal. Uh, so for the animated buttons, I just made it so that uh, they don't link to anything and you can simply link it to anything you'd like on your Adobe Muse website. So there's 18 uh, different types of buttons and each button has three variations. So, you know, some buttons are a little more round, the variations are more round. So in total, there's about 54 different buttons and then you can completely customize the color, the size and everything. So uh, just as a note, the last button that you place on your Adobe Muse website will control the colors for the other buttons. So you just want to kind of be aware of that when styling these buttons. Um, if you have a lot of different types of buttons, um, if you only have one type of button, you can just copy and paste it. Um, and that'll kind of save a bit of code in the back end, but it's not a, a big deal. But yeah, if you just have one button, you can just uh, style your first button and then copy and paste uh, for your other buttons. And yeah, it'll just have the same style sheet and, and styling. Very good. So these are more buttons here. Um, I did showcase these in, in another video, so I might not spend too much time showcasing this. Um, and I might add this link to uh, that first, um, to, to the animated button, so you can check out all the different buttons here. But, um, but yeah, I'll leave a link so you can check these out. But there's, it's a lot of fun. You can really style your website. You can make these buttons as big or small as you'd like. And I'll show you a quick example. So I'll go to Muse, Adobe Muse, and um, I'll just, uh, let's see, yeah, I'll create a button. So I'll go to Library. If you don't see your Library panel, simply go to Window, uh, click on Library, and it'll bring up your Library panel. And then I'll go to Muse for You Animated Buttons widget. And I'll just drop, uh, there's two uh, widgets here. There's the animated buttons widget, and then there's the animated buttons with icons widget. And you can add uh, over from over 660 different uh, icons from fontawesome.io. So if I click on it, uh, and I'll just show you, uh, we can see that we have the button here. And I'm gonna select the button, let's do Sack Knight. I like Sack Knight. It's just a, like a, a button with an icon in it. And then we can choose from over 700 Google fonts, or if we erase, uh, or we can enter in uh, a font from Typekit. Um, so 
Here, I'll just continue with the styling for a moment. But here, I'll erase this here. And then we can choose, oh, because this button doesn't have a font, excuse me, it doesn't have a font, so we don't need to worry about the font here. But we can select an icon. So I can select, let's say, um, you know, this arrow down icon. So now there's an arrow down in there. And then I can select here where it says Sack Knight box size. I can say like 150. And then for the border size, I'll just say 70 so that it fills the entire thing. And we'll do 80 so it fills the entire thing. And then for the icon size, we can say uh, 42. So that icon will get bigger in there. And we can say maybe 50, make it really big. All right, so now here's my button. And if I hit Command Shift E, we have that cool kind of button there. Very nice. And I can even do, because there's three different variations of Sack Knight, if I select Sack Knight 3, we see that we have that variation, and Sack Knight 1 is that variation. So let me hit Command Shift E, and very nice. Very good. And I can make this button really big if I wanted to. I could do like 500, so it's like huge. And then I could do um, the border size, we'd have to do like 300. Yep, and then the icon size we can do like a hundred. Yeah, or maybe, maybe even two hundred. I'm just kind of showcasing how big you can make these buttons. It's a lot of fun. So you can really do do a lot with these buttons. So let's say I pick another one, um, and let me just change the icon size to uh, eighteen. The font size, we'll leave it at. We'll say eighteen as well. And then we'll go here where it says button type and we'll change it to let's do anti man. Yeah, and then we can kind of make this smaller here. And if I hit Command Shift E, we see we have that effect there. So uh, to link these buttons, it's very simple. You just click on the button and you know you can make it smaller. Yeah, there we go. I'll make it a little bit wider here. So to, to link these buttons, you just click on the button widget here. And then where it says hyperlinks, you know, I can link it to HTTP, google.com. So now if I hit Command Shift E and I click on it, it'll take me to Google. Or you can link it to one of the pages on your website. So if I create like a another page here and I just say like page, you know, page two. Um, and then I go back here to my home page and I go here where it says hyperlinks. I now have where it says desktop. I have Untitled 2 because I didn't title the page, but um, and I go to File, Preview Site and Browser, and I click on it, it takes me to page 2, or I could link it to an anchor, so if I go to my anchor right up here, and I click here and I say, you know, Section 1, and I bring it all the way down, I'll just give some scroll space, and I'll create like a rectangle underneath here, and I'll fill it with like black and I just bring it down here. Now we can link that button to the section one. So I click on the button, I go to hyperlinks, and now I have this anchor called section one. So now if I hit Command Shift E and I click on it, it'll scroll down to the section one here. So as you can see, you can link the button to various things, um, and which is really great. And I can uh, bring in the other widget here, which is text. And yeah, the other thing you can do is you can change the text. You can say like click here and enter. Some buttons have a before text and an after text. So with this one, if I hit Command Shift E, we can see it says enter. And let me just make it a little bit wider and change the instance number to three. There we go. If uh, if you have a few different buttons, you can change the instance number so that they have a little bit different styling. Uh, right here in the widget options where it says instance number um, and I'll show you how to use actually let me uh, change the font size so I'll change the font size to like 24 so it's a bit bigger and now I'm going to use um, a font family from typekit I'm going to use a font from typekit so to use a font from typekit you just create some text so I'll say some text and I'll change the font to something I like here. Let's change it to, uh, let's try Continuo Web. See how that looks. And I'll make it a little bit bigger so we can see it, 24. All right, so there's the text. So now I hit, I'll hit Command Shift E. And what I wanna do is right click on this text, click on Inspect Element. 
and then we, we're gonna look for the uh, that text we're gonna look for the font family which is right here so just look in your styles to the right and font family is here so we're gonna copy continuo comma fantasy and I'm gonna hit command C to copy and then I'm gonna go back to my uh, widget here I'm gonna click on the widget options and where it says font family I'm going to erase this and hit command V to paste that font family in there and if I hit command shift E we now see that this font is the same as this uh, typekit web font very good or I can use a yeah so let's preview that again yes yeah, the same text here very good or I can use a, a, a font from uh, a do, uh, excuse me from Google font so I'll select here I'll just delete this this has to be empty and then I can select any font from uh, from Google font which is really cool and you can go to you know so this is Sinzil very nice can make add for a really nice effect and we have a bunch of different button types um, so it's really fun it's a lot of fun to really play with this widget and it can really add a lot of styling to your website and just make it really gr uh, great and everything so there's that one and oh, let me see button type let's do Nuka one yeah I like this one very nice and again you can make these buttons as big or as small as you'd like and just drag it out so you can have a really nice button in the beginning of your website. You can like click here, you know, and have them have them click, and then it'll scroll down, kind of like how I did for the um, the the website, the the demo site that I have for the widget. So there's that. And if you wanted to check out the different Google fonts, just go to type in Google font in um, in Google, and then click here, and then you can click on poster. I like click on click excuse me clicking on poster and then I can see all the different fonts there very good so it's a lot of fun and if you wanted to see the different icons you can put in your um, button just click on font or type in font awesome in, a, in Google and then you can click on the first link there uh, the font awesome .io link you can click on icons and then there's a bunch of different icons and I've recently added the 66 new icons in 4.4 .4. so that's an update um, that I've added there um, so yeah so these are all the icons. Uh, just check them out. You know, you can really style your your buttons and make your website really fun and interactive with these buttons. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Again, you can check out the demo site. I'll go to museforyoushop.com. Uh, I'll close this. I'll close this here. I'll scroll down to the buttons here, and I'll preview example site. And here I have you know a demo of the animated buttons and um, yeah I've also used the SVG draw for this kind of logo here um, or this uh, vector of these uh, this football uh, image and um, yeah I used the SVG here and I used the animated the animator to fade in um, this vector as well all right very good i think that's it for this video tutorial um also check out the svg draw widget um, i recently made a video on a new update i did where you can now control when the svg draws and i actually used it in that football demo where as you scroll you can set the percentage of how of when you want your svg to draw um, so yeah that's a new update and if you've already purchased it just go back to the download link that you received when you purchased it and click download again and you'll get the new update um, so yeah, that's the update there, um, or that's the SVG draw. There's also the complete animated bundle that I've just included. Um, you get about uh, 12 different widgets, um, and or uh, yeah, a few different widgets and animations. It's uh, 12 different items in total. It's $117 value for $49, um, and it's really great. I mean, I've really been having a lot of fun with these animation widgets, and uh, to me, yeah, like offering it as a bundle. Uh, is really exciting for me because you can just do all these different animations and styling to your Adobe Muse website with these widgets. So like SVG Draw, the animator, you can uh, add over add from 139 different animation effects. Um, and you know if you have an e-commerce store, you can uh, use the animated buttons for your e-commerce store, and you can use the animated border menus for menu. It just animates a menu that pops in. Um, 
but yeah, you can do a lot with these widgets, and I've just been having a lot of fun making them and you know creating them and offering them um, for Adobe Muse. So yeah, I think that's it for this video tutorial. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, check out museforyoushop.com. There's more uh, links below in the uh, the show more area below. There's links to you know the demo, um, a few other resources as well. Um, and there, there's going to be a few more widgets to come. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I, I appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting and communicating with everyone. And uh, just really kind of grateful for all the subscribers. And yeah, I've just been having a lot of fun with Adobe Muse. So thanks for that. And uh, yeah, thanks. And I'll see you in the next video tutorial.